Hello and welcome to this short but hopefully informative presentation about the Modern Foreign Language Department at Haybridge High School. My name is Mr Kilmartin, I'm the Head of Languages here and have been for about 12 years. I lead a very experienced team of teachers who, to whom I will introduce you very shortly. I'm going to explain what it is that we offer here at Haybridge and how the whole experience of learning a language happens. So I'm going to read through this first of all with you. Uh, as experienced and passionate practitioners of language teaching, the Haybridge MFL department aspires to enable pupils to express their ideas and thoughts in another language and to understand and to respond to its speakers, both in speech and in writing. This can only be realised through a well-structured and clearly sequenced curriculum that builds on prior knowledge and allows for regular practice of all the four primary, sk uh, primary skills of listening, speaking, reading and writing. Culturally, learning a foreign language is a liberation from insularity. It provides an opening to other cultures, should foster pu pupils' curiosity and deepen their understanding of the, word, the world. To this end, we strive to provide them with a high quality languages education through exp exposure to the target language countries via extracurricular trips and activities in school. Lessons are challenging yet engaging and the relevance of learning a language and applying that skill is constantly reinforced. So as I mentioned, I have a very experienced uh, department. I'm very lucky to lead such a skillful department because all of us teach right up to A level. So we're very experienced linguists. Uh, so myself, I teach French and German. Mrs. Collins is a specialist in French. Mrs. Chadwick teaches German and French. Mrs. Pritchard teaches Spanish and French. And Mr. Buffery, who's our in house language specialist, our polyglot, um, he teaches most languages, uh, knows, knows most languages, he teaches Spanish, French and German. So here's a just a quick view of the languages floor. Uh, we are located in the faculty block, uh, which is a very nice new modern uh, build. As you can see in the photo, we have this breakout area. We're very lucky to have these computers here that we can use and all of our classrooms are sort of very lovely, light and, and spacious. So what can you expect in your modern foreign language lessons? Well the key thing with language learning is to build confidence through familiarity with the target language and to this aim we include a lot of vocabulary retrieval exercises culminating with fun end of lesson plenaries every lesson to help students commit their language learning to the long-term memory. There are opportunities in every lesson to strengthen writing and speaking skills to develop their ability and willingness to be creative in the target language whilst ensuring accuracy. A large focus in language teaching is currently being put on the skill of listening and we use a variety of approaches to develop this really important skill. So, Let's get down to it. What do you, which, which languages do we actually offer here? What will you do when? So in year seven, a lot of our students have come from our main primary feeder schools with whom we've worked in conjunction to co-construct a scheme of learning that feeds into what we do. And because our main primary schools um, do French, it's a bit of a no-brainer that everybody does French in year seven and those are mixed ability classes. On the basis of the data that we amass in year seven, we then, as we move into year eight, set the students. And sets one and two have the opportunity to study a second language, which is German. We're often asked, why don't you do Spanish? Well, we have done that in the past, the problem is that you offer a wide breadth of, it, of language learning but not enough depth and as is very clear when you join the school, we are an EBAC school. So our students have to take a language 
through to GCSE to ensure that we get the results that our students need to, to improve their later life uh, opportunities we need to make sure they have that depth of learning and my department and I are uh, more French and German specialists. They make their GCSE options at the end of year 8 which means that when they go to year 9 they have more language lessons um, and as they get into years 10, 11 that's what we really would call the GCSE course that's where we're starting to do uh, mock exams and really relating their learning much more to the GCSE exam. The main exams for the GCSE are taken at the end of year 11. Now in normal times, obviously we're living in strange times at the moment, we offer quite a few exciting extracurricular opportunities in the way of study trips. So in year 7 in the summer we would normally run a study trip to Paris. In year 8 at Christmas obviously we go to the Christmas market, markets in Cologne and Bonn um, and these are all very very uh, well subscribed trips. Uh, in year 10, numbers allowing, we run a trip to Berlin which again is another fantastic trip. We also regularly take part in and occasionally win uh, competition, competitions such as those offered by Aston University Roots into Languages. So this is the exciting bit with languages. Where, where can my subject take you? Well, what we often are asked is which language is the most useful? To which the absolute honest answer is they're all equally important. Learning a language is all about widening your horizons and opening doors that you never knew existed, whether you're traveling or you're working. Now, whilst there are career paths which are more obvious, such as working in tourism, being a translator, being an interpreter, even being a language teacher. The fact is that language graduates often move into a wide range of well-paid careers, um, including journalism, law, business, um, a wide, wide range. People with qualification languages are highly sought, by, by, uh, sought after by universities and employers for the skills that they bring, and salaries often reflect this. I know that firsthand from talking to people. So, all of the Haybridge Open Evening resources can be found by visiting the school website. We look forward to welcoming you to our classrooms in September 21. Thank you very much for listening to this. Stay safe and we hope to see you soon.